I think that um, blockchain technology is going to evolve pretty dramatically over the you know, various different phases. We're in phase one right now where uh, these toy systems process every transaction and uh, their, their optimizations of this, but they store all the data. Uh, so that's great for doing a few things, but it's obviously not uh, uh, going to serve society broadly. Um, and we're, we're moving towards figuring out how we can get enough security on these platforms uh, while also achieving scalability. So we get security uh, from decentralization or radical decentralization, and uh, we get scaling from layer two solutions, and there are a bunch of those that have come online already. So Funfair, Spank Chain, uh, Raiden, uh, Micro Raiden, um, using the state channel technology and uh, a bunch of side chain projects are coming online. It's a, a lot of games are, are bringing their own layer two technology and uh, the plasma technology for linking side chains into the base layer, the trust layer of Ethereum. Um, there are about seven or eight different ways of using it for different purposes and it, it basically confers the trust uh, at the first layer to um, a more scalable blockchain system at the second layer uh, so that you can be certain that if these people are malicious, um, if they run away for some reason, or if you just want to pull your, your digital sword out of this game and move it to this exchange or to that game, uh, you can do that and you can be certain that uh, it's checkpointed on, on uh, layer one Ethereum and, and you're in no danger of losing your assets. So that's phase two. Phase three is... Uh, sharding and, and proof of stake, and uh, it's already getting built out. So um, I, you know, it's hard to kill a blockchain. They're, it's hard to kill these tokens. So uh, certainly Ethereum will continue to be um, significant at minimum. Um, it will very likely keep up with um, at the base layer uh, with scalability that other platforms introduce. Uh, and it's orders of magnitude larger than anything else right now and growing exponentially. So it's going to be hard to kill. It may, I, I think something called Ethereum will exist in 10 years from now. It'll be a very different architecture. Uh, but there's a, a lot of people that uh, believe in the technology, that like working together. It's a very collaborative ecosystem um, and uh, will probably continue to build out something called Ethereum. Even if all of us leave, somebody's gonna come in and take over Ethereum and, and be Ethereum. <laughs>